are you guys? How are you doing? Hopefully fine. I have ported over a Facebook Live from my Facebook account, and I'm finna play it over here on YouTube so y'all can see it. What you are looking at right now is a charge I got from Facebook about sexual exploitation when you can obviously see and read that I'm just chastising the females about being promiscuous. In this live that I ported from Facebook over to YouTube, I'm also talking about methods of spiritual warfare because our enemies come in high and low places. Hope you guys enjoy. I think I'm probably like, boy, you've been popping off as a late on your Facebook page. I sure have. And the best is yet to come. Strap on and put on your seatbelts. Ride can get a little bumpy. <laughs> so I guess it's just right if I do housekeeping, right? And I'm finna try to make it real simple for those of y'all out there that's not so coherent you know some of us like to hear and believe things in plain sight it's telling us for example not to jump in the pool because there's a shark in there and somebody dumbass generally jumps their ass in the pool so this is that sign this is why I do housekeeping so if you are not <laughs> a lover of truth Guess what? This is not the lie for you. Because this life is going to be unadulterated. And if some of you don't know what that means, that means I'm going to say and do whatever the fuck I want to. Unadulterated. So, if you can't get with that unadulterated truth, it's time for you to go. We done had our time together. It's been nice. I got cute for you. That's all I can say. Now it's time for you to go. Okay, so moving on, right? Cause it's finna be on un it's finna be unadulterated. Because matter of fact, let me stop this fucking music. Oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's finna be unadulterated. I wasn't playing when I I wasn't I wasn't just just gisting when I said that. No, it's gonna be unadulterated. And the ride might get rough. So if your soft ass is still in here, I don't know what to tell you. I already gave you the housekeeping. But I digress. I don't think people is under the real understanding as to why maybe I, I do things, why I say things. Why I post things? Why I content create things? Cause that's what I am. I'm a content creator. You can put that shit on the obituary cause you'll be telling the truth, okay? People are not under the understanding of why I'm in this thing. So I'm finna try to simplify it for some of y'all. Because some of you are deserving of the fucking middle finger. And you are. And some of you are not. But I am gonna say this much. If the shoe does not fucking fit, do not put your fucking shoes, your fucking feet in the shoes. And then complain to me. Because just like that show, Married with Children, I'm gonna clown you like Al used to clown the women in the shoe store. Are y'all getting me? Because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an example of you, just like Al made an example of them fucking females in that shoe store that will come in there and give his ass a hard time. That's what I'm gonna do. Do not put your motherfucking feet in the shoes that your feet don't fit into. It's gonna save me and you a lot of time, a lot of effort. Don't jump in my comments talking, well, is it this way? Don't jump in my comments talking no crazy shit either. Cause I eat trolls for breakfast. I love being trolled. K 
kind of get the dick hard, if you know what I mean. So don't troll me. I get a little something out of that. And I will make an example of you, anyone. So, Facebook, yes, the corporation, not the viewers, but the corporation. This middle finger is for you. Fuck you, Facebook. Because I got to get the big guys out the way first. Then I got to go to the little guys, which is the viewers. But the big guys first, right? Because the Bible say that our enemies is in high places. And those of us don't know, this is why I have a fight. Because these idiots in Facebook decide to take down a post of mine. A post where I was chastising the females about being promiscuous. But since this is unadulterated, about them being hoes. About them being 304s. Facebook struck me with a penalty and took my post down. So if this middle finger is for Facebook. Fuck you. Because they charged me with, get this y'all, get this. Trying, trying to solicit sex. There's not even a picture for the post. I can't even defend myself with this thing. Literally. And, and matter of fact, I took a screenshot because I have receipts. I took a screenshot and I'm going to show you guys after the live is over. Oh, I have receipts. I'm not the fucking one. I don't play. I did say this is a lie for lovers of truth, right? So right when this live is over, I'm going to post the screenshot of Facebook penalizing me over a fucking post where I'm not even soliciting sex to nobody. I mean, wouldn't it make sense for them to strike me for posting up the men that I be talking all like, ooh, honey, he don't see it coming. And oh, look at that meat, that sausage and whatever. Ain't that soliciting, right? So shouldn't I get marked for when I put up these sexy man pictures or these sexy man videos? But I get penalized for a post with no picture, no meme. And it's basically telling our females to stop being hoes. Unaccountable hoes at that. Fuck you, Facebook. Bitch, and I want you to see it, corporation. Because I already know one day I'm not going to be on your platform. Because y'all going to fucking take my shit down. I already know that's coming. So, fuck y'all. I want y'all to see it. Now, I'm done with Facebook ass. Bitches. But, let's get to the viewers. I'm not going to turn on some music. Because I'd be a little kind with y'all. <laughs> but... Um, are we aware that you are viewing a 45 year old man's content? Are we aware of that? Okay. I'm finna just put some basic stuff out there because some of y'all so caught up in education, money, possessions, all these things that y'all can't even see straight and y'all spirits off. So let me help you try to guide you back into the light, okay? With some plain old common sense. Some wisdom. That shit you can't buy. <laughs> okay? That comes with experience. But are y'all aware that I am a 45-year-old man? Content creator. Do y'all even know what a content creator is? Because it seems to me like some of y'all out there is confusing what you do with what I do. And we don't do the same thing. Because say it with me, good old common sense. I'm a content creator. I'm not just social media on here, y'all. I'm actually making content. Whether i am become famous for it or not, it's content that's been created. Therefore, I'm a fucking content creator. Can we agree with that, right? So the part that gets me is when I come across individuals 
that figure they could put censorship on me. Because like I just told y'all, Facebook is censoring my ass over stupid shit. And I got the receipts because I'm going to post that up. So I already got to deal with that from the platform in which I am giving y'all the content on. Okay? So I hope y'all following the bouncing ball because I'm going somewhere with this. It's bad when not only do I have to deal with the censorship from the stupid ass company for putting me on fucking timeouts for stupid shit that's not even calls for, but get this in my everyday life, I also got people trying to censor me. Trying to tell me what the fuck to say and we don't even do the same thing. We're not even on the same level. We're not on the same depth of view. These be the same people that will get Two trolls in their fucking comments and this would be the reason to stop. We're not cut from the same cloth. Okay? I consider my discomfort. I could stand other people's opinions. I can. But you got people that constantly tell me how to be on, say, this platform. Even on my YouTube, I have people in my everyday life trying to call some form of censorship even over there. And they say the most redundant shit. Like, oh, see, what I do, what I do, but if you compare what the fuck you do to what the fuck I'm doing, guess what? It's apples to fucking oranges. Okay? So why even put your ass on the chopping block like that? I wonder when they do this every time. You're not even a fucking content creator. Why the fuck are you telling me how to be on there? I've been doing this long enough to know how to fucking drive this motherfucker by now, okay? And just because I'm not some big media hotshot fancy person don't mean that this is not one of my hobbies. This is just what the fuck I do. I'm a content creator. How many of you is sitting in front of the camera right now doing what I'm doing and even being unadulterated about it? Unapologetic. Because that's what you sensing in my spirit. like he's unapologetic. I'm not. Because like I just gave out the housekeeping, I do, this is this is the part of being in social media, being a content creator. I let you know what the fuck you're coming into. Because social media is subjective. In other words, you don't need it. You need to drink some water, right? You don't need social media. It's subjective. Is the video game company wrong for making a pilot video game and your kids are playing it? Or is it just the parents are wrong from them, their lack of controlling what, uh, this company's material from getting in the child's hand? See, I like to blame the consumer. I like to blame the viewer. I don't blame the content creator. And, I, and this is the age that we in. It's like blame the content creator. Blame the guy that's going to come out or the woman that's going to come out and be transparent, straight up with you. Because it's easy to try to make a bad guy, right? When guess what? You're too small to be my bad guy. I got to deal with motherfuckers like Facebook. These are giants. They morph and dwarf your ass into a motherfucking microscopic bit to me. You're nothing to me when it comes to them. They are the enemy. The Bible says that your enemies are going to be in high places. Facebook already got y'all beat. I have to look at them like this and y'all like this. Because guess what? That's all the fuck you are when you jumping in here trying to censor me. And I'm just doing what the fuck I'm doing. You're joining the fucking enemy. Genius. Don't you get it? Censoring me, you're joining the fucking enemy. You're joining Facebook on the get the bitch. Stop it. Judge a man, a woman, by their fruits. Stop getting so caught up in the fancy car that they drive. The big house that they got. Oh, they got so many PhDs and ha ha ha, got so much education. Oh, they are so beautiful. Oh, they are so popular. They so in mainstream. Some of y'all are just so fucking cardinal. 
got special people in your life you don't even know it because you're looking at what the fuck they got which by the way ain't got nothing to do with you but hey this is what people do in the world right this is what we judging people on them right because in reality i'm attacking that spirit what you mean peanut there is a nasty spirit from hell and it's easy to jump into people close to me that lets it in let alone some fucking social media platform that's probably driven by someone satanic in the first place it's easy so my thing was my i just seen it i said peanut you gotta come at that spirit you gotta let that evil spirit know like bitch i ain't scared of you i will come at you straight up style and also use it as a lesson to lift up the people what the most high is instructing me to do so in this live i will be using like i just mentioned real life moments that happened to me and turn them into teachable moments to help the people that is willing to come out of the darkness into the light because this is what i have to do and no evil foul spirit is going to scare me from doing that I don't care how many of my loved ones you jump your ass into. I don't give a fuck how many big social media platform motherfuckers that you jump into, spirit. I will still come for your motherfucking neck. Do you hear me, you evil spirit? In Yah's name's sake, I will come for you. Every time. You don't scare me. The most I do. Neither do these people that you jump into using this agent to try to attack me. Do y'all think I not know what time it is? Do y'all not think I know this is spiritual warfare time? A lot of some of these people out here is letting Satan into them so easily. And whether I met them and know them, so whether I am familiar or unfamiliar with these people, Satan is able to infiltrate them really easy. And now it's time to attack those that are unplugged. It's like some matrix shit. And guess what? I'm ready. My my motherfucking kung fu is strong. You don't want to fuck with me. And you don't. Because I just had a situation on here. Where I put up a post about paying bills. Because some people are using, say, platforms like this to piggyback off of the Wi-Fi in order to have a means of to be communicating with people. I'm not saying all people is doing that, but, but, but what I am saying is that some people do. So the post I put up was basically frying the people that were trying to contact me, like the Facebook messenger, as a means to contact me because they're not paying their fucking bills. And guess what? Someone took it out of contest. Someone literally put their feet in some goddamn shoes that was not meant for their ass. Because this person is assuming that I know that they pay their bills. Not everyone that is going to call me through the messenger is it that that does not mean they're not paying their bills. Okay, so can we really get to the common sense? Like I said, my I might be crude in speech, but I lack that not in knowledge and wisdom. So don't get the crude speech confused, okay? Because I do know that, guess what? Some people are still going to use the messenger to call me and they pay their bills. <gasps> but the post is not for them. The post is for the people that are doing the latter. And it's obvious because I even hashtagged it, pay the bill. This person took it upon themselves to take offense to it. Because they gave me a call through the messenger maybe a week or so ago prior to me putting up the post. And guess what? The post didn't have nothing to do with her ass. So she put back, I hope you're not talking about me in so many words. I put back, I hope not either. You know why? Because I don't know if she's paying her goddamn bill or not. I never asked her. She never volunteered the information. I'm not assuming she's not paying her bill just because she's calling me through the messenger. That message is for the people that aren't. But she took it on the whole attack. You ain't chill. 
fuck you mean chill? Hold on. Twice your age, too. Slow down, boom. They need to tell you about me. They need to tell you about me. Straight up. I am nothing to mess with. At all. I get it. I come off very Mary Poppins-like. But I can be a real beast like that profile picture suggests with them horns. I am nothing to play with. Real Phoenix energies. It's only coming from the most high. So... I'm like, this person took so offense, they unfriended me or blocked me or whatever. And my thing was, wow, so the post was about you not paying your bills. People, certain people. Well, why didn't you just tell her that? Because it's obvious, and I'm going to be honest, I don't pander. I don't. I don't explain the fucking obvious. It should be obvious. I don't know how, if you're paying your bills or not. Now, now you just volunteer information with your actions. Because just by the way she handled it, in many ways, I'm like, damn, I guess she don't pay her bills. Uh, this, now, this is, this, is, this is one, this is someone I talked to about it. Well, she has accounts and she's doing this, she's doing that, she has money this year. Okay, well then the post it wasn't about her so then why would she i mean it's just common sense see a lot of y'all want people to pander to y'all i'm not fucking doing that i'm not this is why i have to give it the common sense if you liking that guess what i don't give a fuck how much money your ass got how much education you got how popular you are how how you look me and you is gonna be like oil and fucking water because you know what? That's all it is to you. We're not gonna get anywhere. I'm all about the spirit. You, you, you must be hating on my nice stuff. No, I'm not. And it's funny how some of these people who try to get classes and egregious because that's just what the fuck is called. When they try to get classes and egregious, because they might, because I put up a post earlier too about you can't poverty shame me. But I put up a post about that because someone just tried to poverty shame me. You can't do that. It's not going to work. Now you just gave me an end on your spirit. You materialistic. A lot of people in our community are misled because people have shiny cars, nice things, big followings, and they wear fancy garments. They got a big bankroll. What the fuck does anyone bankroll got to do with me? I'm just saying. I don't even care for. I don't care for shit like that. I care for the spirit. I care for our forever. So this is where all of my investment is going into. Is into the spirit. People get misled off of just you know material things. The Bible called that kind of person a carnal-minded person. A reprobate mind. That's what the Bible call that type of person. I'm not a reprobate mind. I'm happy for what I have. So rather I get blessed to have a billion. A God just well like well like bless me to have what I have now, which is not a billion. <laughs> but if God would be, I am thankful for what I have. That would be a lie if I told you I am not grateful for nothing I have. No, I'm very grateful, and I. Hope y'all can see the glow through my beautiful skin. I'm just saying. <laughs> but this girl took it and I'm like, damn, put your feet in the shoes that fit for you. Stop always assuming somebody talking about you. Don't be so caught off guard just because somebody got some money and some nice things. <laughs> Do y'all know what the Bible say about them type of people anyway? And not all people that got money is bad people. It's almost as if when you talk about the the bad people that got because the Bible says you're dealing with the evil in the high places. High places. Some of y'all act like y'all is like straight up the PP and Walmart or Facebook. Y'all ain't none of these corporations. Sit down. You're not my enemy. You're not even on my level. I will pummel you in the spirit plane. 
pummel you. Man, a woman alike, you would be pummeled in the spirit plane with me. You'll be like, damn, he wasn't lying. It's only because God let that happen. Because I had chose things in my life that correspond with the favor of God. God working with me like this. Or yeah, like I call him Yah. Yah known as God. So are you going to say who is going to be chosen, Pina? I don't know. Because the book tells us we ain't going to know. God, that is the choice of God. But it does tell you how to see them. The Bible tells us how to see them. Yahshua, the one y'all know as Jesus, was a carpenter. He wasn't some big fancy shot caller, big baller, y'all. Moses come from humble beginnings until he got sailed up the stream into Pharaoh's in them house. And he took himself out that house too. Left the fame and the fortune behind to be with his people, to lead them to freedom. Noah, he was a drunk. He was, well, I'm not, well, he was a wine though. So, a lot of y'all are looking for these God's chosen ones. And y'all was looking for them with how much money they got. Y'all was looking for them with how much many people following them. Y'all was looking for them with the mass of people that's all pretty lost. So it makes sense that y'all follow false prophets, false religions, false spiritualities. It makes sense why you gain everything but you still is not feeling complete inside. You get the beautiful husband, you get the beautiful wife, you got the beautiful kids, you got the beautiful car, the beautiful house, the beautiful income, the beautiful trips, or whatever you got. And you still feel unfulfilled because you live a cardinal life. You're not living with the spirit. If the spirit told you right now to get up and walk away from everything that you have earned, will you be able to do that? Will you? And just because I'm not some hot shot millionaire or a billionaire does not mean that I got possessions that I have near and dear to my heart. But if the Holy Spirit moved me to say, leave them goddamn things okay behind, I would hope and believe that I have enough in my heart to listen and walk away. Some of y'all would just say, no, I work too hard for it. Well, Okay, that'd be the reason why your ass gone. Do you even know what's coming in the end times? A lot of us asleep on that. Like, do y'all even what type of what type of preparations are y'all making? I wonder. Do you know how to grow food? If you had to defend yourself, what would you do? When y'all was getting these P E C checks and these um, 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 stimulus checks, and some of y'all are, are are getting taxes. I'm not getting taxes, but some of y'all are getting taxes. Guess what? What are you doing with that money? Are you making sure that when there's no stores, when you might have to grow your own fucking food, when you might have to supply your own power? Supply yourself with your own drinking water. Are you spending your money on those things? Because if you're not, you're spending in vain, boo. You need to do something about that. These times are coming. Prophecy will not go back unfulfilled, child. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the signs and the times are already here. Every stimulus check I got when we got those stimulus checks, guess what? I bought survival shit. The fuck you talking about? That's why y'all ain't see me taking no fancy trips. Buying no fancy shit. Because I spent every stimulus check I got on survival shit. Just in case all those scenarios that I just mentioned happen. Just rest and know your, you bet your bottom dollar peanut ass is good. And don't think about coming over here taking my shit too because I got some for that ass too. I did say defend yourself. So I got some for that ass too. So don't think it's sweet over here because it ain't. 
But are y'all making preparation with your little monies, with your little tax returns? What happened if the lights stop right now? What are you gonna do? Do you have even hell? Do you even have any candles? What happened if you can't call 911? What are you gonna do? Hopefully you got protection. Hopefully you spent some money on that. What happened if there's no stores? I hope you got some motherfucking standby food. What happened if you turn on the faucet, there's no water? I would hope you know how to find some water and even if you, and even if it's not a clean water source, you know how to sterilize it to make it drinkable. I told you I was coming at that spirit tonight. I know that spirit is like, I hate him. I know you do. And guess what? I'm not finna use your energy. I'm finna use God against you. Guess what? May the most high deal with you, spirit, like the most high is dealing with me. And um, just had to go spiritual tonight, y'all, because um, people think it's sweet over here, and it's not. I'm full aware in this in this time, I have to man up. I can't care to be treading lightly when I'm trying to help y'all's people come into. I love y'all too much. I love I love y'all too much to do that to y'all. I know on this path there will be conflict. You can't use that against me either. You can't say, oh, you're falling out with everybody. Well, I'm a man, bitch. This is what we do. Real men fix things. The world is a fucked up place. Can we all agree on that? Can we use common sense? The world is a fucked up place right now. And it's just getting worse. And it's just getting promised to be worse. Some people out here is letting Satan jump into their ass. And the spirit is telling them, attack him. Hate him. Put resentment on him. Guess what? Jump your ass out. And they do. Whether it's the corporate, whether I'm familiar or unfamiliar. It don't matter. I could have never met these people a day in my life. And just because somehow they got a connection, some source to me, this spirit jumps into their ass. Like say at Facebook. Whoever is my cyber potcher, plus I stutter. The reason why you probably feel some way about me is only because Satan jumps into your dumb ass. Because you let him in. You do his satanic practices with his satanic holidays, his immoral holidays. Easy way to come in. All he need is a crack. The time is almost up. What are y'all hearing? He still got time? What do y'all hear when the Bible says Satan time is almost up? We in that time. So even if you give him a crack, he's coming into your motherfucking ass, okay? So people like me can't play around. I'm on the narrow path. Whoever is still practicing these satanic ass holidays, congratulations. You're on the path of the wide. And if you're not into the Bible, guess what? I'm not talking to you. Sit down. Because in the Bible it says, if you're on the white path, that's the path to damnation. Check around you. Count on your fingers even. How many people in your life you know that are not celebrating these motherfucking holidays? And with them same motherfucking hands, count how many of them around you are. And guess what? If you're not in a state of cognitive distance, you're going to say... Most people celebrate these holidays. Congratulations, you're on. You're on the wide path. That's called damnation. Makes sense why you can log in on Facebook and see someone taking a holiday picture and their head be clean up their wife's ass. Makes sense, right? Easy when Satan jumping to your ass. It's easy to compare with yourself like that. Hey, I don't make these people do these things. I'm just trying to help trying to spread scripture and do what scripture says. You know how it tells us to lift up your voice like on the mountain of Zion and you call out the transgressions of the people. That's what I'm doing. And again, if you're not with the Bible, sit down. I ain't talking to you. 
I get sick of people putting their feet in shoes that don't belong to them. And then complain. Anywho, I've been here long enough. I'm hungry. I have things to do. Hey, Jamal. <laughs> oh, so you see me going there. <laughs> yeah, I'm locked in spiritual warfare. It's weird. You know what I think it is? I think it is that people seeing you where they went wrong. And then they get mad about it. That's what my spirit is telling me. Anyway, my spirit, so this is the motherfucking peanut, Gina Chicago page. You know, Jamal, don't judge me. But, uh, <laughs> um, see, Jamal got me being goofy now. And he ain't do nothing but wave his hand. Now I'm embarrassing myself. But, um, I'm just saying, it's like, I, people have no idea what I have to deal with. I have to deal with the censorship ship from Facebook, just as well as the people in my everyday life. God damn, I'm a 45-year-old man, y'all. Back the fuck up already. I give give housekeeping. And I'm fair. Y'all, people act like I'll be dropping names and shit. I can drop situations, okay? That's my prerogative. Why? Because I'm in it. I can talk about a situation. To me, to me, being messy would be dropping names. And in certain cases, locations. I don't do that. I only speak of the situations only to turn them into teachable moments. Because I believe, hence why this says G Nuts Peanut Chicago page, right? I believe that if we as a people start sharing more of our experiences and being a little more transparent like this and it's being tasteful, guess what? We can help other people so that when they have to go through situations just like this, you can kind of help them through. It'd be like that hand in the dark and you helping them come through. We don't have enough of that. And when people like me stand out, guess what? I am tried, I am attacked on both sides. The big enemies and the little enemies. The same people that claim to be there for you, your day ones, your family, your friends, your associates, your co-workers. It'd be the same people working with the enemy just to bring you down. It is maddening. You would think that I have thousands and thousands and thousands of followers the way Facebook and the people out here is coming at me. Y'all just saw my friend count. It just got jumped up to 201. Whoop they fucking do. This live is just for 201 people, y'all. Facebook. Shit. <laughs> I swear, that's how they act. They're like, I got thousands and thousands of followers. Sometimes I only get 60 views. Sometimes less than that. Like maybe 16. Lucky if I get 16 views on a video. Fuck is Facebook penalizing me for? What the fuck? I'm a, I'm a fucking Facebook nobody, bitch. Facebook, leave me alone. And the Facebook friends. God damn, I'm a 45-year-old man, y'all. Shit. This is just how the fuck this, this motherfucking ship is going to sell. That's just the bottom line. I'm the captain of this bitch, not you. There is a life boat called unfollowed, unfriend, block. That's the lifeboat. You more than welcome to have at it. Nobody's stopping you. Again, social media is subjective. Not objective. You don't need social media. You don't need my ass sitting here telling you shit. You can easily unfriend, unfollow, block a bitch. And voila, it's done. I barely get any views or any comments. Relax. <sighs> I've been ranting enough. Fifi said, period. Hey, <laughs> <I ain't> Fifi. <laughs> I mean, damn. This is what I go through, even on my YouTube channel, where I get even less views. 
there's some it's, it's like here come YouTube with the censorship bullshit and then here come the regular people well I feel blah 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 bitch ain't nobody making you be here so would I be wrong if I told you bitch I don't care how you feel <laughs> what I why why would you say that cause bitch I'm not making you be here I am not going to, I am not going to subject myself, my precious time and energy to a spirit source. Because keep in mind, this is a spiritual life. Okay. But I am not going to subject my spirit time to something that's not feeding it. I'm just not that type of person. I need for my soul to be fed more than anything. Because since my soul is fed, my soul is healthy, it's going to encourage my, my whole physical body to be hungry. This is why it's important to watch what our souls are taking in. Because it can make you sick. So I'm very, very cautious about who spirit garden that I'm feeding from. Whose content and material that I am watching. And get this. Since I am a critical thinker, I fact check. <laughs> and that was sarcasm. But I fact check. Because I'm not just going to take what the fuck you're saying for some like, oh, that's just what it is. No. Once I be on your content long enough and I fact check you enough to see, okay, this person has yet to lie since I've been on their platform. Because every time I fact check they ass, they was telling the truth. So now this is what they would call a trusted source of information. Okay. I'm trying to put a feather in the cap of some of us that is taking in the wrong food. And this is why social media is such a bad experience. I am having a lovely time on here. I don't know about y'all. Some of y'all might be having a very awful Facebook experience. I can't speak for y'all. I am actually having a nice time. Even with the drama that unfold from it, I still have a nice time because guess what? I am a content creator. I'm built for this shit. Some people ain't built for this life, y'all. And you can't hate. You can't hate. Some of y'all makes it y'all business to post based off how someone is taking it, right? I'm not like that. I post general post. So, I might post something you might not like. It's what it is. I might make content like this. You might not like. I'm sitting in front of this camera now for 45 minutes. So, this is time I'm never getting back. So you fucking right off to make this shit constructive. I'm finna make this shit mean what the fuck it mean before I get the fuck off of here and eat. <laughs> okay. So I make it my business to fact check. That way I can start having trusted content creators that I can trust their information. Because if I fact check you and your shit ain't lining up, you lost you just lost a viewer altogether. You lost one. You lost me. Because I'm all about the facts. I'm a, I am a lover of the truth. And this is the only way me and you is going to get close to God. Is if we become lovers of truth. If we're not that. We get way far from God. Like real far away. Well y'all know it's God. I'm, yeah, I call him y'all. Yeah. But we get real far away. Some of us be praying in vain. And we still haven't took a look at our hearts. You know, so, no, I'm not playing. I'm not playing around, y'all. I'm not on here just like, oh, willy-nilly, I'm trying to get likes and comments and everything. No, I'm on here spreading a message. Welcome to combating in spiritual warfare, because I just gave an example, basically, this whole live, talking about battling because all all you've been seeing is me battling that spirit and some of y'all might say what spirit it's in the other plane but it jumps into people that is open to satan so that goes for the people inside of the facebook corporation just as well as people in my everyday life it's that easy for them to jump into them don't y'all know can the matrix win 
when like um uh, like Morpheus told um Neo that some of the, let me turn this down because this is actually pretty profound in the Matrix. That's why I like that movie. But it's a scene in the Matrix where Morpheus told Neo a lot of people is still plugged in and they don't even know it. And these same people is going to be a threat to you because they still plugged in and they don't even know it. And sure enough, Neil get to fighting, you know, kicking ass. But now he ready to get the fuck out of there, right? So he's hauling ass trying to get the fuck out of there. But now all of a sudden, even everyday run of the mill people start turning into the very agents that he trying to get away from. He ran past a sushi guy. The guy was chopping up the sushi. And next thing you know, a goddamn sushi knife fly past his face. And when he looked back, the same guy who was chopping the sushi turned into an Agent Smith. So it's pretty much like that now in this age. A lot of people are not disconnecting from Babylon. A lot of people are not turning away from these pagan practices. A lot of people gave up on God or have next to no faith or none at all in them. Or I'll say the most high. A lot of people chose to start following other spiritualities, which is going to lead them to damnation. And this is what the Bible says. Not me. And it's the truth. And that's exactly what's happening right now. These people are so susceptible to Satan that the people close to them that is stepping out of Babylon are now being attacked. I know I am. That's what it feel like. It feel like I'm being attacked by this demon. It's a demon. And it's jumping into people I am familiar with and people that I'm unfamiliar with. And it feel like that whole Neil scene when you running through the Matrix and that's what's happening to the people. They're changing into the Agent Smiths. And it's like, damn, I'm trying to... I'm not even sure if my Kung Fu is, is up to part to handle this right now because this is getting crazy. But the Bible can instruct us that, no, that means you're on the right path. And it's not you that is doing it. It's me. If you have faith in the Most High, you got to put faith in works. So you got to have faith like Neil did when he went up against that H.S. Smith and hadn't believed. Finally, I can stop his ass. I can stop the bullets. I can move them. They're nothing. I'm finna punch your ass and come inside out your ass and split you in two. And that's exactly what Neil did. And in many ways, people like me that are unplugged, people like you that are unplugged, is going to have to do just that. And I'm speaking man And I'm speaking metaphorically. <laughs> because now, it, now it's on. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, my motherfucking Kung Fu is strong when it comes to prayer, my belief in the Most High, and my works in the Most High. My faith in works. I have to have faith in the Most High and know that whoever watched this video, whether they coming from a Facebook corporation or whether they coming from someone familiar with me, I gotta have faith enough to know that the moment your ass rise up against me, your ass be flattened. And I pray and hope you turn from your wicked ways.